Hey y'all, the Native Cures here and we got two mail calls. Um, so yeah, just in time for Christmas. So uh, one is from the Sapper Gardener and the other is Big Mac, James McIntyre. I'll have their links down below, so let's bust into it. So this first one is from Big Mac, James McIntyre. He uh, has been a sub of mine for since my very beginning. He was part of my first 30 subs, and he won my very first giveaway. And back then it was the um, gas give a seed, and it was almost a complete garden in one package. And there might have been some other stuff in there, but yeah, that was when I first started strictly as like a garden channel. Um, and to sit and have garden side chats. But, uh, so he sent me a beautiful Christmas card. And that's all right, buddy. I know you ain't got stickers and I, that I told you a long time ago whenever I got my stickers that I would send you one. And yeah, he got it and he stuck it on his toolbox. So. Yay, right on. I'm gonna have his link down below. Um, he's super awesome. Okay, this next package is from the Sapper Gardener and the Sapper family um, over at SAI's. Yeah, there was some issues and he had to change his name. So some of y'all might know him as the Sapper Gardener, but he's now SAI's. So, excellent Christmas card, thank you. And uh, I read the inside already. And uh, I appreciate it, thank you so much. It's been a crazy 12 months, and I'm all kinds of seeds. And you know, I, I've tried potatoes, but I did them in the ground and I should have done them in a container. So I sucked at growing potatoes. These are Jumbo Virginia peanuts. And I can't wait. I can't wait for gardening season. However, I'm not looking forward to the hot weather. And I can't wait to grow this next one and send my uncle some. These are watermelon, but they look like a papaya, the shape of a papaya. And they're from Baker Creek Seeds. So that's cool. I'm going to grow them and I'm going to save a ton of seeds from there. Send my uncle in North Carolina some. And then we have Carmine Splendor Okra. I have uh, grown a couple different varieties of okra. I love okra. I like it in soup and I like it fried. Yeah, I like okra. So I can't wait to try this. I'm going to have to look that up and see what, what it's like. Um, I like the Clemson Spineless and I like the red slash burgundy. That's really good. I don't care so much for the emerald. Um, it just seems real tough and woody to me. Purple Lady Bok Choy. Now, to be perfectly honest with you, I've never tried Bok Choy. I've, I've never tried, what is the strawberry? Rhubarb. And being from the South, you would have think I would have tried strawberry rhubarb pie, but neither one of my grannies ever grew rhubarb, and they, my aunties and none of that ever grew rhubarb. It was always just strawberry pie. So, yeah, we didn't eat mushrooms, my grandparents, my great-grandparents, and my parents. All my aunts and uncles and cousins, and we never ate mushrooms, shrimp, lobster, any of that stuff. Um, so, yeah, I'm kind of an oddball. I don't care for shellfish and mushrooms. And, yeah, But I'm anxious to try this. I've heard a lot of good things about bok choy. So, yeah, this is Purple Lady. Yay! And then we have two more. We have a sweet Thai basil. And last year I grew, 
I think it was a Thai basil, but it was spicy, and I like that. And then I grew a some kind of ball basil, and it came up in a little. That one was really good too. It was kind of spicy. It wasn't sweet. And this is a Jedi F1 hybrid hot pepper. So he hooked me up on some more seeds, you know, last year or the year before he sent me some seeds. Yeah, I uh, planted the black eyed peas, cow peas, and oh man, I've ate them for two years. Love them. Grew up on black eyed peas slash cow peas. I don't know the difference. They look the same and taste the same to me. So yeah, Dapper Gardener, he asked me that I have t-shirts. Have I thought about t-shirts? And so he put the little earworm. So I'm gonna get off here. I gotta go in and uh, mom's gonna be back soon with groceries so I've gotta carry groceries in and I gotta do all kinds of chores. I was a lazy bum today. Um, hit me after the first of the year and might not be a Christmas card but you know we'll get you my new sticker and the cast iron crew. Um, I know I didn't get everybody but I tried to get those that I could remember who was doing videos. Um, there was a lot of people that did videos while I was on my MIA hiatus and uh, so anyways y'all have a super awesome Christmas stay warm stay safe keep the fires burning and uh, let's hope that 2020 is the best most awesome new year that there is way better than last year or the year before right on okay so I'm off here I'll holler at you later okay here it comes Remember to do a random act of kindness for a stranger. Remember our boys and girls deployed around the world who can't be home with their families. Especially now, during the holidays. It's hard to be split up from your loved ones and your families and not be home. And, think of that. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock. Jingle bells ring.